I would like to extend a warm welcome to you on behalf of The Haven. We are the UK's only breast cancer support charity, which has dedicated centres providing free one-to-one -one emotional support, complementary therapies, healthy eating and money advice. As well as this, we have support groups and classes offering exercise, stress reduction and healthy lifestyle advice to anyone affected by breast cancer. As we all know, breast cancer treatments have possible side effects. Lymphedema is one of these side effects. Like many people, you may not even know what lymphedema is or whether you're at risk of developing it. We want to help you understand what lymphedema is and what you can do to help reduce your risk of getting it. The information given here is based on many years of clinical experience and the most up-to-date research. We are privileged to have world experts in lymphedema supporting the work of The Haven and we shall be hearing from them during the course of this film. We will take you through commonly asked questions about lymphedema. You will have a chance to watch and practice a sequence of gentle exercises. These movements improve lymphatic drainage, which can help reduce your risk of developing lymphedema. And you will hear from people who have done this program of exercises and find out how it has benefited them. I really hope that you find this film helpful. And of course, you're always welcome to contact one of our Haven Centres if you need more assistance. Now we are going to meet Professor Peter Mortimer, a leading world medical expert in lymphedema. As a medical professor, um, I appreciate your long interest and research over the years into lymphedema. Of the possible side effects of breast cancer, lymphedema um, often strikes me as something that people are particularly um, concerned about or possibly frightened by. Is this something that you've come across? Absolutely. Patients will often come to me and, and say that they're fearful of either getting lymphedema or if they have the lymphedema, they're frightened because it, it's always a visible reminder of their awful experience when they were diagnosed with breast cancer and they have breast cancer treatment. And it's always there to remind them. Uh, they're also fearful that uh, uh, there's no treatment for it and they, they need to be reassured that uh, it's not a dangerous condition, uh, that there is a lot that can be done to help it and indeed I've seen patients where lymphedema has disappeared with treatment and the more time that the patient invests really in doing the right things for themselves, uh, the more likely they are to get uh, rewards as far as improvement in their lymphedema is concerned. So would you say that um, a film like this, which is giving people information about what lymphedema is and what they can do in the form of exercises and, if you like, healthy lifestyle choices to help reduce developing it, is something that can be helpful? Absolutely, yes. Uh, a film like this provides information and education and that is very powerful not only to guide the patient uh, into what they should be doing to manage their condition, but also it, it, it provides a reassurance to them that they are doing the right thing, because it's ignorance that often is the most frightening element of having a medical condition like lymphedema. So uh, a film like this, I think, guides the patient, reassures the patient, and makes them more independent as far as their self-management is concerned. And lymphedema is its a chronic condition. Uh, we still can't cure it as such. Cure to me means you can provide some treatment and it goes away forever. And lymphedema is not like that. So there is always an element of ongoing management. And that really has to fall to the patient because the healthcare professional can't be there all the time to do that. So the more information that the patient has, the more they're empowered in terms of their self-management uh, and then they're going to be better off as a result. Mm. Thank you.